Well, we have uh, another question here in, the, in some time that we have left, and it's via, via text. <clears throat> and it says, my question centers on the perception that God does good for those who serve him and not for the unbeliever. For example, in church, someone mentioned how two individuals were to travel in the same flight on 9-11. One person, a Christian, was delayed and missed the flight. The individual stated, was it not for the mercies of God, that person would not be saved. So was God not merciful to those who mm. perished? Mm. I would say God is a God of love and uh, we have to start with that and in Luke chapter 13 verse 4 sometimes even when we don't understand everything <clears throat> it says to us in Luke chapter 13 mm -hmm. and uh, beginning with verse 4 it says um, what about those 18 persons on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in Jerusalem. And verse 5 says, I tell you, no. And so, because some died in 9-11 and others lived, mm -hmm. it does not mean that they were bad or worse. Mm -hmm. And God's heart cries mm -hmm. with those that perished. And we can praise God for those that survived Absolutely. Mm -hmm. God's providence, but God's heart weeps for those who perished. Absolutely. And it was sin that caused it and not God. Yeah, that's a great point. And, and, and Matthew chapter uh, 5, verse 45, uh, mm -hmm. real quickly, it says, Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount, talking here, he says, uh, for he, God the Father in heaven, uh, causes his son to rise on the evil and the good. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Mm -hmm. We live in a world filled with sin and bad things happen to good and bad people. Yeah. God is a God of blessing and he blesses people who choose to follow him and those who do not. And so bad things happen and good things happen, blessings to both. 